Hi, Lisa here for Treasured Memories, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a project that I'm going to be doing. I wanted to introduce you, if you've never seen it, to the melting pot and to UD, which is ultra thick embossing enamel. So what I've done is I've put some of the ultra thick embossing enamel into the pot. I've added some holographic powder just to give it a little shimmer. And here's an ex some examples of some of the flowers that I've just been making for this project. And in addition to using the holographic powder, I've gone and I've added some glitter. And this is just an inexpensive package of glitter from a craft store. I think this costs $2.99 for a bunch of packets. And so when you are um, done dipping it in the UD, I'm going to add some glitter and I'll show you all those different steps. So right now I'm going to let the UD powder melt. And I'm going first step is I'm going to spray a little glimmer mist and what this is going to do is this is going to just add a little bit of sparkle to the flower. I'm saturating it pretty well. Then I'm going to dry this completely. Before you put it into the UD pot this has to be completely dry. So I'm going to come back when this flower is dry and I'm going to show you how to dip it. So now that the flour is dry, I'm going to go ahead and put it into the pot and swirl it around, make sure. I don't really have to cover the full back, but I want to just get the flour covered on the front side and especially the tips of the, the petals. So now that I've dipped this in here, I'm going to turn it over. And what I like to do to get the excess off is use my heat gun to kind of get the drips off keep it hot while I bring it over here. Then I'm going to take a mixture of the glitter and the UD and sprinkle it on while this is still hot. The glitter stuck to the bottom of the little package, the little cup here, so I'm having to just sprinkle that on. I'm going to put a little tiny UD over the top on this side just to kind of seal in that glitter so it doesn't fall off the flower. And then I'm going to reheat the flower and you can see that the UD is dissolving with my heat over here. And that's pretty much it. Then it's just a matter of you can shape the flower um, by using a skewer and just poking these leaves up and separating them if you want to. Or if you want to put it in a scrapbook and you want them real flat, you can leave it real flat. And then use it in your next project. This one's going to be featured in a um, book that I'm doing for an upcoming class. And you will see a link to that if you're interested. Thanks!